Hey YouTube, Luke here. Doing a review today on the Beretta A400 Extreme. Uh, this is the Unico in camouflage. Um, it's the Max 4 edition. A beautiful, beautiful shotgun. Just got this a uh, few weeks back. Uh, I was shooting a Benelli for a while and uh, sold that to a friend. Wanted to get something that was gas operated, uh, something that was going to accept a few different shell sizes, uh, you know, for turkey, you want to do some waterfowl, things like that. So uh, basically, this shotgun is capable of handling any ammunition. Apparently an Italian Unico means everything, so uh, literally they mean any ammo. You can shoot 7 8 loads, you can shoot 3.5 inch ultra mags, you know, whatever you want to shoot. Um, this is capable of handling it. It is a gas system. Um, as you can see, it comes in this really nice case. Um, it's got the shotgun, breaks down individually from the barrel and the receiver unit. Comes with two extra choke tubes in addition to the one that's in the barrel. Uh, it comes with a cylinder, a modified, and a full. Uh, you do get some Beretta oil down here in the bottom. Uh, you know, I, I use a bore snake, so I've got my bore snake and some cl gun cleaner in there. Um, nice pad on the top here if you wanted to clean your shotgun right out in the field. Uh, super nice. This case is, you know, worth half the price of the gun, I think. <laughs> well, anyway, this gun is super nice. This is the new uh, kickoff system. Uh, they've got two kickoff systems, kickoff 3 and kickoff M. Uh, basically, uses a couple uh, piston cylinder units in the back here to relieve any you know, um, recoil that you got coming back to you. Uh, it does a really good job. When it comes to clays, I don't even feel like I'm shooting a 20 gauge. Um, when it comes to turkey loads, you know, I feel like heavier 12 gauge load, but but nothing like a three and a half inch mag should feel. <clears throat> so it does a really good job. It's got, right on the bottom of the barrel here, you can see it's got the gas piston. Um, that thing gets pretty dirty. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Kinda gotta pull it apart every now and again to clean it. Uh, you know, you gotta pull the actual piston out of there. So it can be a little bit of a pain to clean as any gas gun is, but um, overall this one's not too bad. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put this thing together for you real quick just to show you, uh, it's very simple. One of the main reasons I bought it was because of how simple it is to put together. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is pull the receiver stock unit out of the case right here. There's a twist off cap on the end. This is one of the greatest things about it. It's a quarter turn, pulls right off. The fore end slides right off of it and that's it. Barrel's ready to go on. Pull the barrel out of the case, all you gotta do is, is line it up in the receiver. Make sure that the piston goes over top of the magazine tube. Slide it down in. The fore end slides on very nicely. Another quarter turn locks the end cap back in. And you're ready to shoot. Um, really simple assembly, really simple tear down. It does make it easier to clean because of how easy it is. But again, that gas system, piston gets all dirty, um, and the back of this receiver gets a little dirty, so you are gonna be cleaning this every few hundred rounds for sure. Oh. Oh. 